Hi guys, I welcome you all to yet another lecture on anthropology series. This is our day 36. We had already started the kinship in day 35 video. So if I have to give you a recap of what we did yesterday because that is important for today's lecture. In case you have not watched that lecture, please go watch it. But then I'm giving you a re recap because it is needed in this chapter. So we had already started that kinship is basically how you place yourself in a group, right? And kinship is a very important kind of a social group in the primitive or tribal societies. Now, the words primitive or tribal is itself very derogatory because then we are saying that they are primitive or like, you know, savage in any sense, but it is not the truth, right? So, but what, what can we do? Because today, uh, the, the debate on this whether to call them primitive or tribe has come but these term th terminology has been used in the books for like 100 years and more than that right so it's it's better if you call them indigenous groups or with any other name but we know that it is important uh, a kind of social group when we talk about indigenous groups even today so hence from there the relevance of kinship comes in because anthropology may we are not only studying the modern societies but we are also studying the simple societies the contemporary different societies right so kinship is very important for them so we had basically talked that kinship can be based on two things first is the affinal ties that would be your marriage related basically uh, and which is basically called as alliances and then it's the consanguineous consanguineous right and basically they whatever relations you may uh, are blood related we call them descent that means if you see your ancestry through your ancestors uh, who are blood related to you that becomes your descent so basically kinship do tarike se hoga alliances and descent and all the group that means all the uh, kin world will become your kindred it's a ego centric uh, egocentric grouping right unlike other groupings which are ancestor based and then we have talked about unilineal descent group where you see your descent from only one line right in that we st studied about patrilineal and matrilineal tribes so yeah let's start with today's topic now how to organize these unilineal descent groups that means you are looking at your ancestry from one group that's fine but now what are the rules how are they uh, gonna organize themselves right so subse basic unit would be a family i can say family would be the basic the most basic unit right and a group of families will become your extended family matlab extended family group right so hum isko likh dete hain yahan pe extended family right group of extended families let me make some more of it right so group of extended families will make your lineage right let let me just remove it from here and write it there only so that goes into a line this is extended family right so with the sabse basic unit would be family then a group of families or extended families will make lineages group of lineages will create clans then fratries and moities now do not worry about these words we are going to deal with them separately do not worry so now this is and and the two moities will create a one bigger grouping which is known as a tribe so this is how you classify or organize the unilineal descent groups. It's basically this classification was given by Evans Pritchard. Pritchard, right? He says basically unilineal descent groups are made up of extended families into lineages, into clans, fratries, moities and a tribe. See, the lineage now. Uh, till lineage the the only difference is when you go on if this is ranking number one this is two three 
फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दी सिक्स आइटम्स राइट द डिफरेंस इज वेन यू गो फ्रॉम वन टू सिक्स द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इंक्रीजेज राइट एंड अलॉन्ग विद इट द डिफरेंस इज टिल द रैंक नंबर टू द एंसेस्टर्स आर नोन दैट मीन्स यू कैन स्टिल ट्रेस योर एंसेस्ट्री राइट बट आफ्टर टू इट बिकम्स अनोन दैट मीन्स आफ्टर दैट यू नो यू कैन नॉट ट्रेस द एंसेस्ट्री बिकॉज ऑफ कोर्स आप कुछ थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स जनरेशन तक यू यू कैन नो दैट दिस वॉज योर एंसेस्टर राइट बट उसके बियॉन्ड यू कैन नॉट राइट सो दैट इज वॉट इट इज कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बढ़ेगी डिस्टेंस विल इंक्रीज ऑल ऑफ दैट सो बेसिकली ग्रुप्स हमने कल भी बात की थी हु लैक स्टेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट मीन्स द सोसाइटीज विच विच आर नॉट कॉम्प्लेक्स लाइक टूडे सोसाइटी दे आर नॉट बेस्ड ऑन दीज लीनियजेस क्लैन फ्राट्री मोइटी बिकॉज दे आर कॉम्प्लेक्स सोसाइटीज टूडे सोशल ग्रुप्स रन डिफरेंटली बट ट्राइब्स इवन टूडे फॉलो दिस काइंड ऑफ सोशल ग्रुपिंग बिकॉज दे लैक स्टेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट मीन्स उनके पास कुछ पोलिटिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आज सच नहीं है राइट सो टू ऑर्डर टू मेनटेन ऑर्डरली स्टेटस इन द ग्रुप एंड क्योटिक ना हो जाए चीज़ें फॉर दैट एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रिसोर्स लाइक लैंड एग्रीकल्चर कैटल ज्यूलरी वॉट एवर सरप्लस और एसेट्स दैट दे हैव दे मस्ट बी प्रिजर्व एंड पास डाउन इन एन ऑर्डरली मैनर सो फॉर दैट दे ऑर्गेनाइज दम सेल्स इन सम काइंड ऑफ अ स्ट्रक्चर विच इज दिस बेसिकली राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यूनिलीनियल डिसेंट ग्रुप्स ऑर्गेनाइज दम सेल्स नाउ जस्ट लुक एट लेट्स लुक एट दीज टर्म्स मोर क्लियरली सबसे पहले हमने बात किया था एक्सटेंडेड फैमिलीज का तो आई डोंट थिंक वी नीड टू डिस्कस फैमिली एनी मोर बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दैट इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर सो प्लीज गो वॉच दैट वीडियो ऑल्सो इफ यू हैवेंट एंड कम बैक टू दिस फर्स्ट वुड बी एक्सटेंडेड फैमिलीज देन कम्स द लीनियज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई हैव टू टेल यू इन लाइक हिंदू स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड वॉट दे से लीनियज वुड बी अ वंश and anything less than that would be gotra right so like that so lineage kya hota hai basically it is a set of kins every set of kins right who trace their descent from a common ancestor i told you till lineage ancestor is known but beyond lineage ancestors are not known because then it goes to like very old things jo aap you you can't trace them theek hai so so lineage is set of kins who trace descent from a common ancestor through known links they know it they know it right and then lineages are further divided into matrilineages and patrilineages and they are smaller groups of course if we compare lineage with a clan it is a smaller group you can see because a, a large number of lineage would create clans right see a large number of lineages will together create a clan so it's a smaller group as compared to say a clan fratri moitri moiti like that then comes clan which is also known as sibs right so it is believed to be descended from a common ancestor but this common ancestor you cannot know that is you have a uh, fictive or imaginative uh, feeling that we might have a common ancestor but aap usko clearly you cannot tell ki which was the ancestor so here in in the clans many uh, things like plants animals which are commonly known as totems come into play and have a significant role to play now this totem will be we will study in the chapter religion so do not worry about that for now if you have to understand totem is just anything which you give some religious or cultural significance to it could be a plant stone animal thing anything sword anything it could be anything so basically clans believe that they have emerged from a common ancestor though they cannot trace themselves to that uh, ancestor that ancestor is often fictive or imaginative so then they attach themselves to a certain uh, you can say plant or animal which is known as a totem right so this is what a clan is all about then further a lot of clans would make fratries fratry has come from a french word that means frater that is brother brotherhood right 
fraternity is the same word right hamare institute constitution mein bhi uh, brotherhood uh, fraternity we talk about it so that's fratri so two or more clans will make fratri and then examples would be crow indians that is crow indian is made of made up of six fratris right then moiety moiety again you know the word moiety means half it means half that means when you divide a tribe into two equals that will become a moiety right to so moiety is always two right and moiety kind of a grouping will be there in smaller groups that means which tribes are small so they uh, fragment into two moieties right so they they are divided into two unilineal descent groups that means those those two groups will have their separate uh, known ancestor that is why they are into two distinct groups right and the example is kaska indians so the, this was how the unilineal descent groups organize themselves from family uh, extended family to a bigger tribe right so now apart from unilineal descent group then there are double descent groups also basically unilineal descent group mein what we were doing if we make the example again yeah and then in unilineal descent group basically tracing ek hi line se ho rahi thi right either from patri or either from matri but in double descent it is not like that double descent mein descent record matter linearly for, from some and patri linearly from some now just see this how it will happen they are married they have a kid let's draw this is the kid then he marries and then he has a kid then he marries and then so sometimes what will happen is that you know he could draw his ancestry either like this or sometimes either like this that means sometimes he he will take his ancestry from the father's side sometimes from the mother's side right similarly for this person it could be this way sometimes or this way sometimes right so this looks very dirty right now but you understood the whole thing na that means it is not decided it is not that you are going to have the uh, descent from one group only like a unilineal descent group it's a double descent basically if i have to uh, uh draw it more clearly you can just take it like if i draw it more clearly it would be like this uh right sometimes it's like this and sometimes it's like this so this is a double descent right so in double descent both rules operate simultaneously that means rules of patrilineal as well as matrilineal then iska example hai yako herders of nigeria basically what happens in yako herders of nigeria is that ritual office jo hota hai na religious functions that are traced matrilineally while productive resources ya aap jo bolo economic office hai that is uh, taken through patrilineal theek hai na so if i have to make this as a yako tribe ka example if this is a yako tribe so patrilineally economic economic activities wo patrilineally inherit karenge for example if father is a herder boy will take that economic thing from his father's side and then religious office or religious ritual office from mother's side right so it's like that while in herero tribe it's the opposite that means ritual office they take patrilineally that is from father's side and economic activity from mother's side so it can be any which ways it is not decided right but double descent may 
there is no overlapping like the unilineal descent group only because unilineal maybe there was a clear cut demarcation there was no ambiguity you were tracing your descent to only one group and usme there was no confusion is may be there is no confusion because if it's talking about ritual office it is only going to be matrilineal if you are talking about economics it is only going to be from father's side right if we are talking about yakut tribe so no confusion right then ambilineal descent group Th these descent groups basically individuals are free to trace their descent from any line of parentage it could be either from mother's side either from the father's side but not from both the lines like in double descent what was happening both the groups simultaneously but for different activities right but isme kya ho raha hai you are tracing your line from only one group uh, one way only either matri or either patri but you are free to take descent from any group right so example of this is samoans of west pacific basically uh, when you cannot trace your known ancestor you know uh, after certain generations so groups either take matri lineages or patri lineages because then they cannot clear cut demarcate from which grouping they belong to so that is how maybe ambilineal descent groups must have come in and also the conflict between matri lineages in a patriarchal society must have led to uh, ambilineal descent group because you then are free to take descent from any line of parentage right so that then uh, we have studied about uh, matrilineal uh, sorry uh, double descent ambilineal descent and parallel descent also there is i'll just tell you what a parallel descent is this is not very common so is uh, ambilineal ambilineal is also not very common only unilineal groupings are common and after that if we have to say then double descent groups but uh, ambilineal and parallel descent groups are not very common but then uh you should know about it so i'll just draw the parallel grouping also in parallel grouping what happens is they have this person is married and this person is also married he has a boy and she has a girl just assume that so this person will take descent from this person like females will take descent uh, you know take the descent line of the mother and boys will take the descent line of the father so this is parallel descent this mostly happens in the groups where division of labor is there because if there is division of clear cut division of labor that means it's decided which gender is going to do what right so in that group you have to ultimately take the place of your mother or take the place of your father so that is how the parallel descent groups have come in where there is clear cut division of labor right where the, the roles of both the genders are decided and predetermined now this is what we are uh, reading how these groups are decided that means if you uh, whether you want to take unilineal or double descent parallel descent how is this uh, dependent this is dependent on certain rules of descent that is for example economic factors right if we talk about patriarchal societies that means male dominated basically jahan pe male domination zyada rahegi so there obviously uh, we will say that they will follow unilineal and mostly patrilineal patri linear uh, descent groups right there will be patrilineal descent groups so this is how economic factors work in and in in any uh, uh, grouping where females role is more then they can take matrilineages right so that that is how then prestige of profession if for example in any group any profession like for example hunters and gatherers theek hai na hunters and gatherers mein more dominating role is taken by men right hunters are men right so they to take the more uh, important role so then they will take a unilineal descent group and that to patrilineal right so this is how the rules of de uh, descent work in division of labor we have already talked about in division of labor there will be parallel descent groups then political factors 
for example if we talk about nayars of kerala there the political activities are taken on by the women because the men are out and they are a, they are a martial kind of tribe so men are always on the frontier so the, the females take over the households and the things so if that is the prestige or political factors then obviously after the female the next female will take over so that is how these descent groups will uh, determine their places so in political factors if it is nayars then they'll be matrilineages right then demographic factors for example depopulation or any famine or war in this case uh, when there is any famine war depopulation depopulation means decreasing population when it happens uh, either by chance or otherwise through any external factor then what happens is the survival becomes more important you do not feel that you need to belong to a group then the survival part comes first right so if you feel that your survival will be more with the females side that means if you get attached to the females side that then your uh, survival will uh, increase or if you go to live with your male family or grouping then your survival rate will increase so according to that you can take ambilineal descent groups also so demographic factors ki wajah se bhi ambilineal descent groups aaye honge because then you are not tracing your line strictly through one grouping right you could either uh, choose it from your uh, father's line or mother's line depending upon ki aapko kahan pe zyada survivability mil rahi hai right so this is how the groupings must have been uh, taking the shape it is today so uh, this was the lecture for today i hope you understood and uh, any suggestions please post in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer you and please uh, like share and subscribe thank you